Hi, I'm Mark Doreen, cross-cultural worker in Thailand for many years. And today's devotional comes out of some of the experiences that, that I've had in Thailand over these many years. And this one on the power of identity, who we are as human beings. God has made us, created us uh, in as very special creations. So Genesis chapter one and verse 26, then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over the livestock and over all the wild animals and over all the creation that moves along the ground. For God created mankind in his own image, in the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. Several years ago, we were invited to a very special thing. We were invited to go to this small village outside of Chiang Mai in the mountains to share the gospel with a group of people who knew nothing of Jesus, knew nothing of Christianity. It was just this one lady who, that we had built a relationship with who wanted her neighbors to understand uh, Christianity. And in fact, she herself said she could not be a Christian unless it was a group thing. And so she invited us to come and share with the whole group. Ended up going there every Thursday evening for about two years. And during that period of time, we went through the Bible, chronological Bible studies, beginning in Genesis and telling them who God is and how the world came about and how sin happened and God's uh, work throughout uh, Israel and throughout history. Uh, until uh, Jesus Christ and redemption through the cross. We were studying in Genesis, it was only uh, several weeks into our study. And uh, when we talked about uh, the fall in Genesis chapter three and how Adam and Eve had sinned and got removed from the garden. And then we went to Genesis chapter four and people uh, were beginning to uh, accept and get excited about the idea that maybe there is a God. In Buddhism, there's, there's no God, there's no creator. Uh, and that maybe this creator, because the God realms in Buddhism, uh, the gods can be good and evil at the same time, uh, just like people, they can be good and bad. Uh, but that maybe uh, the creator God is a good God and begin to get quite interested in this whole story of how the world came about and how evil came into the world, how suffering came into the world. But they really stumbled when we got to Genesis chapter four and we read about how Cain killed Abel. And before that, uh, how uh, Abel offered a sacrifice of a, of a lamb or a, an animal to God. And God accepted that sacrifice, but he did not accept Cain's sacrifice of grains. And their problem was that Buddhism teaches that uh, all animal life is sacred and, and equal, and that the killing of an animal is the same as the killing of a person, it's murder. And uh, the first time I heard the, the five commandments of Buddhism, the first one is, you shall not kill animals. In Thai, it's uh, ham ka sat, which means no, don't kill animals. And when I first heard it, I said, well, that's animals, what about people? Is there another one for people? And they said, no, 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 animals and people are the same. They're, they're, they're the same thing, because an animal could be a person who's died and now is, is reborn, reincarnated as an animal if they were bad as a, peop as a person. And so they were quite uh, shaken by the idea that this creator God would accept killing an animal as a way of offering uh, of repentance and receiving forgiveness for sin. And the Lord, really, we needed the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to know how to deal with that. And so we went back to this scripture here in Genesis chapter one, and we talked about how God created humankind in his own image and in his own likeness. And what does that mean? And so we asked the people, what's the difference between people and animals? Is there a difference? And uh, they said, you know, arms, legs, eyes, ears, they can think, uh, they're trying to think of differences. I said, uh, uh, let me ask you, uh, let, let me tell you the difference. God is spirit and he created people with a spirit, an eternal spirit, in fact, that won't die. Uh, but uh, animals, uh, they're not created with a spirit. And they said, well, how do you know that? 
Uh, do you think that's really true? How do you know that for sure? And the Lord gave me wisdom to, to offer this uh, question to them. I said, have you ever seen a monkey, uh, one of the most intelligent of the animal kingdom, have you ever seen them worshiping God or bowing before an idol or doing any kind of uh, sacrificial or religious thing? And they said, no, 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 monkeys don't do that. Uh, what about a dog? Do you ever see a dog praying or meditating? They laughed and said, no, 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 uh, they don't do that. And I said, but why is it then that people everywhere, even people in the remotest island of the Pacific that haven't had Western influence or other influence, why is it that they worship? Why do they worship the sun, moon, and stars, or trees, or things in nature, or build idols toward? Why is there such a desire in the heart of people everywhere, every culture, to, to worship something, to seek a God? Uh, and they said, hmm, yeah, there, there's a difference there. And so uh, I said, people are, are are born with or created with a spirit that needs to communicate with the spiritual realm. And so God created us in his image and his likeness, meaning God is spirit and we have spirit so that we can commune with him. We're born with a desire and a longing for spiritual answers. And they, uh, they were able to uh, overcome their objections and, and move on in their study. But I discovered and want to encourage you with this today. God created you in a different way than any of, any of the rest of creation. God created you like Him to be able to communicate with Him. And in fact, in God's hierarchy, He created you above everything else in creation. And in fact, the verse that we read says that God created us to rule over or to take care of creation. That's our role, our responsibility is to care for the, the earth that God has created. In fact, God created the earth for humankind. Uh, we see that Noah, after he came out of the ark, he was told, fill the earth and, and take care of it. He created us in a very special role. And in fact, he created us above even the angelic realm and even the demonic realm. We see the writers of, writer of Hebrews saying that, that the angels cannot be inheritors of what God has. We, the angels can't inherit sonship. They can't be sons and daughters of God. Only people, only the humans that God created can be sons and daughters of God. We're the only ones that can, can inherit all that God is preparing for us in heaven. And how, does that, how is that spirit formed? I want to take us to Genesis, or to, I'm sorry, Psalm 139. Psalm 139 talks about how wonderfully that we are created. And there's a particular verse that interests me, and that is in verse 13. It says, For you have created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. And multiple passages in the scriptures talks about God knitting us together with forming us with his hands in our mother's womb. And uh, I believe that's the moment that God created your spirit. He created each and every one of us uh, with a spirit that will not die. It wasn't, it's not a natural process, it's a supernatural process that creates a spirit that will not die. And God's created you on purpose, intentionally, whether your parents wanted you or not, whether the world wants you or not, God intentionally created you and created you as, his, as the ultimate creation in all of, all of the things that he created because he intended to create you, he loves you and has a purpose for your life. And so we praise God that our identity is in God and his creation for us. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that you have create, created us intentionally. Thank you, Lord, that you've created us with a plan in mind. And I pray for each person who does not have that strong identity in you and wonders why they were placed here on this earth. Lord, I pray you'd encourage them today with the fact that you intentionally created them and that they are your special, uh, they have a special place in your heart and we pray you'd strengthen them and bless them and guide them today. 
in Jesus' name. Amen.